Good morning, everyone. Um, last night, I recorded a video on probably the number one question I get asked regarding the chord track in Logic, and that is how can you take chords that you've played in on your MIDI controller and get Logic to analyze them and add them to the chord track? And so that video was a workaround. It's not, you know, ideal. I obviously think that this is a feature that should be added into Logic natively, just like an analyze MIDI button or some way to add region chords to a MIDI region, just analyzing the chords inside of it and then just drag and drop it up into the chord track. My goal is not to whine and moan and complain about what Logic can't do or certain features that it's lacking in, but rather to show you workarounds that are comparable to those missing features. And so I started thinking about this this morning and I was like, you know what? I think there's an even faster way to do this. And uh, I want to show you that uh, in this video. So I do recommend you go back and watch that original video because I sort of go through the process of why this doesn't work and how to get around it. Uh, but let's just jump into logic and I'll show you a, a quicker way uh, to uh, use use this workaround. Okay, so just like before, I have some chords here. I'm just using the studio piano. I played in these chords. I used the sustain pedal and everything, and it's not just whole notes and half notes. It's pretty basic, but there is a little bit of movement in it. The first thing you need to do is you need to select the track that you're trying to extract your chords from, go over to your track inspector, go to internal MIDI in, select that track, and then under record, I like to set this to internal MIDI in. So what this is gonna do is when you create a chord, it's gonna allow you to learn the chord from the uh, MIDI track or from the MIDI region. So the MIDI track or the software instrument track is communicating MIDI data to the chord track. And you can see there it's guessed our first chord. So the way I was showing you guys how to do it is creating them one at a time and then learning each chord. So you can do it that way uh, if this method uh, is troublesome for you. But what you can also do is you can actually just create a new chord. Here, I'll just create a brand new one. Create a new chord, turn on MIDI input, and then just press play. And then during playback, click the plus button to create a new chord, uh, like just a split second before that new chord is supposed to come in. This is gonna be reliant on what snap uh, mode you have selected. So I'm going to put mine on beat because I have a couple of chords here that are a half uh, a half note apart from each other. So check this out. I'll hit play and I'm just going to press the plus button in between chords. And we're done just like that. So, you know, for all the people that were complaining that this takes too long to do, it really doesn't take that much time to do. It's actually quite easy to do if you use, uh, you know, this method as opposed to the chord by chord method I showed in that previous video. So there you go, guys. That's a quicker way to uh, get your chords from your MIDI recordings up into the chord track. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.